You are listening to selfdiscoverymedia.com, where illumination and inspiration is about a click away. With so many genre topics for you on everything that you need to know in life, we celebrate and share the people who have taken the journey before you and who are now here to serve you with their wisdom and their knowledge. The next show coming up is... Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everybody. Welcome to Sarah's View of Life. I am your host, Sarah Troy, right here on selfdiscoverymedia.com. I'm going to share with you today a blog that I wrote and then discuss it a little further. The changes we make branch into possibilities. Like every branch on a tree, every leaf on that branch, let us be the ever-changing seasons we see. I'm heartened by the changes this world is making by ordinary people like you and me. I'm uplifted by the hope I see. I'm thrilled to be a part of it and my soul is dancing to the good vibrations we are feeling. Let us look forward with an open mind and embracing our soul, our beat of the heart. Let us hear what we see and see what we hear. Let us not fear, but believe, and in our belief, strive forward into actual being. We are that hope that changes that good vibration. So don't look back. Don't fear. Don't lose hope. For all of our tomorrows are in our hands. I know they are wonderful. So join us and be a part of it, for you are that missing piece we seek. You are the hope the joy, the love we all need. <sighs> Life is very interesting, isn't it? We are the hope that others seek. We are the hope that we seek. Every single one of us is either going through or has gone through a turmoil. You know, like that ball intertwined fear and pain and anguish and anger and, and lack of self-worth and, and disconnect. And it's all just swishing around and around and around on a forever ball. And until we pull that one thread, that one thread that we need to pull to start unraveling it, we're going to keep going around in that ball. Why are we doing that? Why are we subjecting ourselves to that? I know it's easier said than done. Believe me, I've pulled on quite a few threads and quite a few balls in my life. But I have to tell you that I'm very glad I did because who I am today, the strength, the courage, the knowledge, the wisdom, the passion, the conviction, everything that I am today is brought about because I was willing to let go of that ball, of that anguish, of that pain. I was willing to see what possibilities lay before me as opposed to what crippling life I was living in, a feeling hopeless and helpless and there was no tomorrows. When I started pulling that thread, I could see how things were beginning to unravel. And sometimes it was a tug and a tug and a tug until it became loose enough. Sometimes the thread was easy. But I had to be willing to go through that process. I had to be willing to go through that journey of my own self-discovery. Who was I? Was I the circumstance of my events? Was I just a reflection of what had happened to me in life? Was I just an image of what somebody wanted me to be? Or am I someone that is a contribution, that has a gift to share, that is a light to others, that is a love unto herself, rippling out that love to others? You see, I can't become that until I was willing to unravel that. So pulling on that thread. Oh, yeah. A lot is going to come out. Some of it's going to be alive like big static worms and wibbly-wobbly all over the place. 
are very hard to grab hold of and contain or diminish. But it's going through that process of unraveling and, and dealing with each situation and each thread and each each ball, each each thread within that ball, and looking at it and going, okay, you know, you're a difficult one, but I'm going to unknot you. I'm going to free you. I'm going to or diminish you, whatever the situation is. I'm just not going to be caught up in you anymore. And as each thread starts slowly coming away and that ball has less movement and that ball is less dense and that ball has less power, you start feeling more empowerment within yourself. You start feeling that freedom to be you. You also discover your strength, your courage, your abilities, the passion, the conviction that lies within you. You start discovering your gift of who you really are and what it really is you bring to the world. Very often I equate this to birthing. If you have ever been a mother, you have the conception, you have the morning sickness, and then you go for the fatigue, and then you go for baby kicking and contorting, and then of course you go through the birthing. And it is a process. You don't want to speed it up because you want to give that child every little help it needs to, to be born when it needs to be born healthy and happy. We don't want premature babies. Sometimes it does happen. But if we look after ourselves, and nurture ourselves through this process. Sleep when we need to sleep, <laughs> vomit when we need to vomit. You know, look after ourselves. Then we're looking after that inner child, that baby. And when it comes time to giving birth, yes, is it painful? Hell yes, it is. But that satisfaction as that child is born and placed in your arms, that hope, those possibilities, that love, connection that is so overwhelming now imagine birthing yourself holding yourself looking at yourself as a newborn and all those possibilities that lay before you without the societal and religious and and family conditioning it's your choice now the path that you walk on now is your choice you can walk in wonderment and exploration and adventurism. You can explore all those possibilities and all those opportunities. Because now, in this new birth, you have brought with you knowledge, skills, abilities, wisdom, and a heart passion that's going to help you walk forward. Could you find that without going through that whole process? that nine month duration? Could you do that without going through the pain? No, because it wouldn't mean as much to you. You wouldn't have learned so many skills. You wouldn't have learned how strong and courageous you are. You wouldn't have learned how to listen to the inner wisdom. See, all of this journey that you're going through, the anguish, the pain, the everything else, is to show you what you are capable of is to lead you on the path of your own meaningful purpose, is to show you the gifts that lay within you, but more importantly, to show you the love that you are. So giving birth to yourself is beautiful because at last you can hold yourself and love you the way you're meant to be loved, loving that inner child, loving the person you've become, you take that love forward into a light that is so beautiful and so resonant that it shines upon everyone. So look at that ball of pain and anguish and fear and, and hate and lack of self-worth and all of that that goes into that. Look at it and go, now all I need is one thread. One thread to start unraveling it and just pull that one thread. And don't forget to breathe. And every time you're in a situation, stop and take three deep breaths. 
It aligns your chakras, it aligns your energy, it calms you down and it allows the door of wisdom and knowledge to come forth. It takes you out of the reaction and shows you the true action that you need to take. So don't forget to breathe through this process. Don't forget also to step back and look at something and not get caught into the whole wave of it again. There's going to be things you unravel that you remember and go, oh, that's why that happened to me. That person, ah, oh, let it go. You can acknowledge that. You can acknowledge that. And then you can also say, but they no longer have control. They no longer can hurt me. They no longer have power over me. For I hold my power. So I know it can be fearful because it's unknown. I know that it, it requires strength and energy, but that's within you. I know that it requires skill and abilities, but that's right there for you ready to be given to you through this experience so don't be afraid to find your joy in living to believe in your hope that there are those possibilities and opportunities out there to know that you are love and that love is all around you don't be afraid to embrace it let go of all that ball of anguish pull the thread feel it feel the seasons of your life be willing to branch off understand just as there is the duration of pregnancy before birth there are four seasons too every year each season has its reason if you're willing to go through the different chapters to your freedom to your empowerment to your beautiful purpose to your self-love if you're willing to go for all of that i promise you you will enjoy your own book a lot more so breathe allow let go put everything that is an angst in your life in that one ball put it all in there and then detach yourself from it to say that is my inner turmoil. I am not my inner turmoil. I am going to pull the thread, release myself, and be willing to go through that process into becoming you. And when you do, you will feel so much happier about life. Okay, folks? So, if you need to get hold of me, it's info at selfdiscoverymedia.com. I'm Sarah Troy. I believe in you. All you have to do is listen to these shows here on selfdiscoverymedia.com and listen to the people who've gone through their own process, unraveled the whole own ball to step into their meaningful purpose and to step into a light of love. And then you will understand it's all possible and the opportunity is waiting for you to pull that first thread. Until next time, folks, bye for now. We hope that you enjoyed the show and were inspired to come and visit us at selfdiscoverymedia.com and see what other shows we have for you. And please do visit our selfdiscoverycommunity.org and see how you can be a part of giving back. Thank you very much.